Mr. Mice is here. How you doing today? Today, um, I'm going back to uh, what uh, I keep telling my kids. You know, uh, it's a funny story. My wife, a long time ago, we met. She says, you know, I'm never going to be the parent because I said so. But hey, now we have three kids, and guess what we say? Because I said so. The so I call this a hashtag because I said so. But really, what I what I'm really getting to the point of this video is going to be that uh, the cause, the cause part cause and correlation and you hear this a lot correlation doesn't suggest causation well, what does that mean and uh, what are we doing when we're when we're doing that so we're going to talk about scatter plots association looking at bivariate quantitative data and uh, just going through some basic terms with you so let's take a look at uh, what I have here and First off, I'm going to talk about what we have is called a scatter plot. Now, a scatter plot is when we have two uh, two variables, and both variables are quantitative. So, something like um, height and weight, or you know, or mass and speed. I mean, I don't know how those to relate, but hey, we have two quantitative variables, and we have one on our x-axis, one on the y-axis. One is called our response variable. The other is called our explanatory variable. So one explains the other. Okay, so here on my x-axis, I would have response, our uh, x-axis would be my explanatory variable, and on the y-axis would be my response variable. So um, what we want to do, though, when we're talking about describing um, an association between two variables is we want to, and I just learned this today, um, we want to talk about STDs. <laughs> All right, STDs. Now, S stands for strength. T stands for type. And D stands for direction. So let's talk about these associations, and we'll go through each of them. I'll talk about what strength is, type, and direction. Okay, type. Type is whether it's going to be linear or curved. Let me take it here. So this is either linear or curved. And the direction is either going to be positive or negative. Okay, so positive would be a slope that goes up here. So see this right here? This is a positive slope. If I kind of drew a line right through all these data, okay? Now, that's not a very good line, but hey, um, you know, I'm not a perfect line drawer here with this little thing. I know what I can do. Uh, I can do this. Watch this. Okay, so if I drew a line through these data, then you'll notice here that this line, it all these points are pretty close. I know I'm starting B, but hey, I'll go back to A. All these points are pretty close to the line. Now, since those are really close together, we would say this is a strong relationship. Okay, this is a strong relationship. They all kind of go in a line, so it's a linear relationship. Okay, so I did my strength and my type. And then my direction, we have to think, does it go in a positive slope or a negative slope? So since I'm going up, this is a positive slope. All right, so if I did my STD here, uh, I have strong, linear, and positive, okay? Strength, type, and direction. So let's look at the other ones real quick and see what they are. This one, notice there's a curve, and there's a nice curve we have here, and these are really close together. So I'm gonna say this is strong and curved. Now, I can't really say if it's positive or negative because it's curved. Right, it goes negative then positive. So I will leave out the direction in that case. All right, now what about all these? Well, these are really scattered all over the place. I really can't draw a line anywhere. So I wouldn't say that there's they're linear. This is definitely not going to be, if I could, I could maybe see a line like that. Okay, if I did that, I would say that these are weak. Okay. The, the strength of these are really, this one in this case is really weak. So I'm going to say this has weak strength. If anything, it might be linear. Um, but almost, I think this is like no association. 
Like I can't even see that these two even can come together at all. So this one here though, this one is curved, all right? But it's not very strong. They're kind of scattered out here in the center even though these got closer here. So I'm gonna say this is, uh, we, we like to use the word moderate. So moderately strong. I'd probably even just say moderate. Um, this is, a, and curved. Now what about this one? Okay, the line goes, this is definitely a line, right? So again, my line is not definitely a line. Uh, this is gonna be strong. The points are all kind of close together. Linear and negative. All right, what about this one? Ooh, that one's a straight line too. Just like that. Okay, so this one, and they're all pretty close together. So again, strong, linear, but what's the direction? Hmm. It's not one direction, <laughs> like the band. <laughs> it's no direction. All right, so there's no, no direction. Uh, I could make another joke here, but I won't. Um, so we're going to go on, okay? This has no direction. And to those of you that are my students, you're probably going, what is the joke? Tell us. Got to ask me in class, okay? Let's go on to the next page here. So take a while, take a second here and look at these. These are the same ones I had. And what I'm going to quickly just say here is that correlation, the word correlation does not mean association. Those are two different things. Correlation does not mean association. So two things just can't be correlated. In fact, correlation is a measure of linear strength. A lot of people tend to use the word correlation incorrectly. There's a, a few important things. Uh, one thing here is that correlation must be between two quantitative variables. This is probably the most thing that people kind of mess up when they talk about correlation. They say, oh, well, you know, there's a correlation between the type of pet you own and uh, how many hours you work. Well, no, there isn't, there can't be. There can't be a correlation between those two because one of them, type of dog, is categorical and the other, hours you work, is quantitative. You cannot have a correlation between the two. Okay, you can have an association, there can be an association between the two, but you cannot have a correlation because correlation is a measure of linear strength between two quantitative variables. Let's look at this A, look, look, it's a curve. Man, these are strong, they have a strong association, but they have no correlation. Or the correlation is probably close to zero, you know? of zero. It's probably close to zero because it's curved. It's not linear. Correlation must be linear. It must be the strength of a linear association. This one, what's the correlation here? Yeah, obviously there's a positive correlation. Here, probably no correlation. Here, again, probably no correlation. What about this one? Probably a strong correlation. It's negative, a negative correlation, but no correlation. Now, this one, ooh, tricky. Okay, um, correlation is gonna have something to do with uh, our, our positive or negative slope. So this one's gonna be tricky because there might not be a correlation between the two even though there's a strong association, okay? All right, all right, so um, all, I, all I wanna talk about, oh, let's, let's go on to something else, okay? All right, next thing. So hopefully you understand that. Make, get in your head, correlation and association are not the same thing. And that way you can correct people when you hear them make a mistake on that. Well, look at this. If we wanna quantify our correlation, we have something called the Pearson correlation coefficient. And we can actually quantify and see how strong that correlation is. And that correlation coefficient R is gonna be between negative one and one. Now the positive or negative just means whether it's sloped positive or sloped negative. The number itself needs to be between a decimal or one, it needs to be between negative one and one, so it could be like 0 
or 0.5 or 0.94. The closer and closer we get to one or negative one, like negative nine, negative 0.999 or, neg or positive 0.95, the closer we get to one or negative one, the stronger that relationship is. The further we get away, the closer we get to zero, the weaker that association is, okay? So the stronger correlation is closer to one. Now here's the formula. So if you ever wanna figure it out, you can use this crazy formula here, but you're probably looking like this right now. Huh, what is that formula? Well, the calculator can help us figure it out and we can go to a calculator, we can use Desmos, a graphing calculator, other online calculators or stats program to do it. Um, We'll, I'll do another video on how we find that correlation coefficient and how we use it later on. Right now is just a kind of a, a, an overview of what correlation is and, and the connection it has with association and causation. Okay, so you've probably heard the term correlation is not causation somewhere. Well, that's true and the reason it's true is you think of it this way. Correlation is the linear strength that, an, that two things have an association with, with one another. But it does not mean that A causes B. They may be respond, they, one may respond to another, but there might be some other lurking or confounding variable, lurking variable in there that may be putting them to get, maybe making it look like they have an association, uh, or, but, but, but really um, there's something else going on there that makes these two uh, look like they, uh, one causes the other one really doesn't so think about it this way um, You know as ice cream sales go up shark attacks go up. There is a strong linear correlation between uh, the number of ice cream sales at a certain uh, You know in the US and the number of shark attacks in the US now. Why is that? Well, it's because well, it's, it's hot right it gets hotter in the summer and more people out on the beach so more shark attacks, less people out on the beach during the winter, less shark attacks. So there's a, the weather is causing really these things to look like they're associated, which um, in, in, in really in reality, there's, um, so there's, they're not really causing each other. So correlation is not causation. And you gotta understand it's kind of a, a big thing. And I think if you take, psychology or, or any of the any of the other sciences like we talk about they talk about correlation and they talk about causation you got to make sure that this is a very important statement um, here's another example you know um, more instances of sunburn when ice cream sales go up I know low I think I must need some ice cream because I must be thinking about ice cream but you, hopefully you get the idea here okay um, the weather is really what is the is the guy that's making these things look like they have some sort of cause and effect relationship, which they do not. And in fact, we can really only determine if there's a cause and effect relationship if we use a completely randomized experiment or some sort of experimental design that allows us to, to connect cause and effect relationships, okay? So, I hope you got a lot of this video. We got, I talked about a lot of stuff. Cause and effect, association, correlation. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.